today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best floor layout to get the huge chef cut fast in Pet Simulator X. So guys, here we are right now inside of um, this game. So pretty much, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best floor layout that you guys can go ahead and use in order to get the huge chef cut fast. So if you guys don't know already, in Pet Simulator X, there's a huge chef cut. And pretty much, guys, this cut is awarded if you guys um, serve 100,000 customers. And right now, guys, I went ahead and served... How many of us served, guys? 11,000. I don't know why I'm in the map over here, guys. Um... Okay, kind of strange. However, pretty much, guys, yes. Yeah, so, um, essentially, what we, what we need to do here is serve 100,000 customers. But if you guys go in and use this layout, you guys are going to be able to serve 100,000 customers super, super fast. I think, guys, with this layout, you are going to potentially serve up to 16,000 customers per hour and get up to 350 million cash per hour, guys, which is kind of crazy. So, let's go in and get into it. Now, keep in mind, guys, this um, layout that I'm about to show you guys today, both is a clickable if you guys use game passes or if you're a complete free to play player i personally sp not spent any money on this and i'm going to be using this layout myself but if you guys did have some of the game passes then of course this would still be useful so guys pretty much there's going to be a few items here that may be a bit too expensive for you especially if you are just starting out and coming from pet simulator x guys but no matter what items you have you can then go ahead and upgrade them as of course you guys make more and more money Keep in mind, what I recommend you actually, actually doing before you guys do this is go ahead and have at least three floors, guys. I'd recommend just playing the game normally to get three floors. Honestly, guys, it's super easy to, to get three and more floors, guys. It literally will take you barely any time at all. But once you guys have the three floors, do exactly what I do right now. So pretty much, guys, what we're going to do first is go ahead and place down some tables over here, guys. Um, place down four lots of tables over there, guys. Keep in mind, again, you can swap these out for better items, guys. Of course, as you go ahead and move through the game and get a bit more experience but then guys in these blue ones what i'm going to do here is place some chairs down there it is so we've got all them chairs down right now then next on these blue ones again guys i'm going to place some more chairs down as you guys can see here here it goes and then i'm going to place some more over there guys there we are um actually apologies about this i have kind of put these chairs the wrong way around these need to be flipped but that's not to worry about hey guys we're gonna place down a, another table over here guys i recommend um in the store just to get these two um two long table ones they're gonna be a lot easier to work with guys definitely a lot, lot better than ones um and then next guys what we're gonna do over here is pretty much you guys are now gonna have this um white space in the middle over here guys so what are you gonna place in this white space well i'm gonna be explaining that right now so pretty much guys what are you gonna want to do here in this white space is actually just leave it blank i'm pretty sure guys so far because we kind of want a bit of space in our restaurant for customers of course to walk through so yeah, guys this blank space is just gonna be it was pretty much as you can see it's just not, not there's not gonna be anything there so guys then what you're gonna want to do here is place some chairs that are facing this direction right now here it is and we'll place some that of course face inwards just over here then what you're going to want to do guys is place some more tables down so place one on the end and one on the end however guys there's something else that we kind of need to do over here so pretty much if we quickly teleport over here to the shop guys what we actually need to get is one of these um silverware trays but of course guys we're not going to get the robux one keep in mind this is kind of free to play so of course guys you can go ahead and get whatever you need um but yeah guys we kind of need this silverware tray over here so what i'm probably going to do right now guys i'll meet you back and um i'll meet you back once i have this silverware tray silverware tray you know what, guys we'll come um at the end of the video once we've got some other things placed and i'll show you guys how they work um but you know what? actually i'll just show you guys right now so pretty much imagine i have these silverware trays what i do right now guys is go ahead and place them down in the orange spots and pretty much guys is a way that you can kind of no click the tables in the spots over here guys essentially just rotate them around and then they can't like no clip into the spots over here guys so technically two things can overlap i'm not too sure guys if it just does it for of course them trays over here guys but yeah you can try and get these rotated around um it might not work for these tables guys um or it may just be because it's not the right silverware trays but pretty much I've kind of accidentally done that, guys. Um, but yeah, essentially, you can no clip your items in together, so they pretty much overlap the silverware trays. So just imagine that these right here are silverware trays. Anyway, guys, moving on from there, then in this these pink corner spaces, what you guys are going to want to do here is place down um, Christmas trees. So guys, if you do not have Christmas trees, they will be quite expensive, but don't worry. 
he has don't need to play the play these down just yet what he has can do to get these christmas trees they were actually a limited item i'm fairly certain from of course like the christmas event you can go to the global marketplace unfortunately as the global marketplace isn't up right, right now but it probably will be up maybe by the time you're watching this video and essentially guys here's where you can buy and sell your items there'll be people that are selling christmas trees guys especially as you use this layout you're gonna get a lot of money meaning that these christmas trees you're gonna be able to afford fuck quite a few of them um later on guys and of course place them down in these pink squares which i've of course set out over here then you guys are probably wondering about these brown ones over here well, all you guys need to do in there is actually place some coffee machines down so let's quickly find some coffee machines over here guys i'm fairly certain they're upstairs um yep yeah. okay so i actually don't think they're down there i think they might be just around here guys and yeah so essentially what you need is get um is to get some coffee machines i don't think i have any right now guys it's, again you can purchase these off the the marketplace but yeah guys i don't have the coffee machines at this point in time but i don't think they matter too much guys they will of course help out quite a bit you guys could place down any other type of machine there just to fill that spot i guess um but yeah guys you can go and place down some coffee machines the good thing about this layout guys is that of course if you don't have these items it's not really like it breaks the whole thing you guys can kind of just wait and then afford them later on guys so then of course place them down but yeah guys go ahead and um try and save up for some coffee machines guys actually here's here's a coffee machine so pretty much guys as you can see it does cost robux but i'm fairly certain i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure you guys can buy these off the marketplace too and um, however guys yeah there you go if not if you guys don't um have coffee machines if you have any other items just place them down then guys what you're gonna want to do over here is pretty much this so essentially guys in this spare space over here what you're gonna want to do right now guys is place down decor a really really good decor item guys is the haunted well if you guys don't have any of them place other decor down and um, depending on what decor it is it will give you a certain boosts of course the haunted wells i think are one of the best decors because they give you guys some pretty good boosts but if you guys don't have them, do not worry. Look in the shop, guys. Buy some decor, which gives you boost. And put that in the spare space over here. Leave this space blank for here, guys. So this space over here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, one second. It is um, from this chair. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so it's 6 away from that chair over here, guys. Leave this space blank. I recommend marking out maybe with a carpet, guys, just so you know to leave it blank. But yeah, guys, there we go. So that's that floor over here. Now, guys, let's move on to the next floor right now, which is going to be floor two. This is going to be pretty much the chef's kitchen area right now, guys. Um, and previously on that downstairs floor, it would benefit you if you do, of course, have the extra space game pass. Um, but this floor, guys, it doesn't matter. And the other floors don't matter as well if you guys don't have that game pass because they kind of don't need all the space. So pretty much, guys, for this one, what you're going to want to do right now, guys, is pretty much this. So let's quickly get our appliances out right now guys and essentially for this one what you're gonna want to do right now of course i'm going to be following the, the the carpet pattern um is pretty much this guys so what i'm going to do i am going to get myself um some dishwashers here it is guys so i've only got one dishwasher at the moment but i'm going to place one down here do i have any another um any more dishwasher washers i don't but of course guys you can place down just the no ordinary sink if you guys don't have one if of course you are just starting out but i'm gonna buy a few more dishwashers over here guys um you know what we'll quickly buy a few of these to be fair we do have quite a few of these at the moment but yeah guys here we go so we've got plenty of them that'll be good um anyway guys let's quickly teleport back right now and then now follow me um hello game is it gonna right there we go so pretty much yeah let's quickly now place down these other dishwashers over here guys um, just to be here and then what you're going to want to do for this space is of course place them down to so rotate them backwards there it is then next what i'm just going to do over here guys is just place these um just i guess like this here it is place them over there nice and simple so pretty much let me actually delete this one guys because we don't need that um yeah and i'll place that down there so now guys we have this this is an empty space by the way don't place anything in there after you guys have done that what you're gonna want to do here is place down your order stands remember you can upgrade all these items guys the more you play the game it will of course help you guys out um if you have a lot of these um items over here anyway guys next what you're gonna want to do is place down these store stoves um around one second so yeah guys you're gonna want to place down your stoves like this so they're all kind of facing in on in on each other um hopefully guys i'm gonna have enough over here i think i should do and then guys 
here we go so pretty much i have these right now what i'm going to want to do next is go ahead and head back on to the store um so we'll do this guys i don't know if i can afford too many more stuffs guys so i don't think i'm going to buy the most expensive options but we'll go in and buy a few of these so three six nine yeah guys i think that should be enough we'll buy 12 i guess um anyway now guys back to floor two we go let's just go down here and then we're going to teleport to floor two after you guys are at floor two go ahead and copy exactly what i do with these stuffs guys so all i'm going to do over here is of course get my appliances back up i'm going to get my stoves out so then what you want to do here guys is just place these inwards just like this so they're facing each other and then this one in here and then guys place two facing in over there guys there you go so now you have this complete area filled with stoves then next in this white space over here what you guys want to do here is fill it with decor it is free out guys and around and that's all you need to do for this floor guys you don't need to worry about these other stuff around here they literally don't matter of course guys i recommend placing haunted wells they are the best type of decor i'm pretty sure guys to place in these areas so keep that in mind anyway guys so next once you've done that um problem is well this floor guys so it's quite hard to go in and get out however now guys this is for floor three and upwards guys so this is going to be um kind of your standard floor to put for the for the rest of these floors guys so what i'm going to do here is place down um some some chairs over here guys here it is place down these chairs right now there we go then next what i'm going to do over here guys is place down these tables these three tables over here and then after that, guys, what I'm going to do right now is place down two tables over here. And then one over here. After that, guys, of course, place down your um, chairs. Place them inwards. Here it is. Then another chair. And then another chair. Of, more chairs over here. Then, guys, what you're going to want to do here in this space is, of course, place another one of them silverware trays um, on the red spot over here, guys. And in this square space over here, go ahead and place a Christmas tree. Um, the thing is about the Christmas tree, guys, you kind of need to place them in their correct orientation so i recommend to do this guys what you need to do here is go ahead and put your mouse on this up left corner and then rotate the christmas tree guys until it fits in the space it's important that you guys do it in this orientation because it'll give you guys the most benefits then in these grease green spares we have um spaces we have three different ones over here you guys can place down coffee machines guys or soda machines it doesn't matter just place down a type of machine well guys i'm just gonna place down myself a gumball machine over here guys well, actually never mind i can't it's not got enough space over there guys however then after that all you need to do here is place down your decor again it is free out guys um so free out and then of course repeat that process for the rest of your floors and that essentially guys is the best layout right now guys inside of um my restaurant of course guys the better items you have the more customers you're going to get and of course the more well then the quicker you guys are going to get a huge chef cut and keep in mind guys they're actually releasing the update early for this game so it is important that you guys maybe get this layout sorted out yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video here like and subscribe for more